I am not exaggerating when I say I would die for him. Hello. Yeah, all right, so I am back from my vacation. If my voice is a little raspy, I tend to lose all my inhibitions on roller coasters and scream much like R2D2. <laughs> But I'm back home, just in time for snow. Quite impressively, I'm already overwhelmed and stressed. This week, uh, we are doing something just completely selfish. Felt like making my own new little best friend. And the contractors are walking out of the house. Don't look at me. So ever since my friend Savannah taught me how to wool felt this past summer, which I have a whole video on and highly recommend if you like Chaos. <laughs> what that back where I came from? Or so help, help me. <laughs> and juicy frog bottoms, which I know you do. Oh! Oh! I've been craving making another little creature. I will not stop until I have thousand teeny tiny wool creatures to keep me company. Recently, I was playing Moss on my VR headset. It is the actual freaking cutest game I've ever played in my entire life. And the main character of that is Quill, and she is so stinking cute. For my new best friend, I decided I wanted to make a teeny tiny little mouse knight. That just sounds like it shall give me the adequate amount of serotonin. We're just going to have some nice, cozy fun. Hopping right into design phase, I tried to look up some reference images of mice. Oh. What? And settling on one that would not induce nightmares, I got to work. Probably be about this size, so I'm going to do it to scale. Been designing some simple armor and chainmail that vaguely looks like chest hair, but I swear it's not. Who what do knights wear on their bottoms? Okay, we can do like a little hip guard thing. Maybe like a little piece of fabric here. And then, of course, what knight would be complete without the tiny little sword? <laughs> I think I'm going to make the hands and tiny little feet out of clay and just attach that directly to the armature. And then his armor and the sword, probably foam. Kind of the same thing that I do for myself, but in mouse scale. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Before we do get started, this video is sponsored, so chat quickly about that. Here is Sponsor Rachel. Hello. Pardon my appearance, my hair length at this very moment is very helmet-esque and I'm just gonna have to make it work. So I'm here to talk about something near and dear to my heart. Food. Today's video is sponsored by Thrive Market, who I absolutely love. If you have not heard of them, they are an online membership-based grocery store that is focused on making healthy living easy and affordable for everyone with guaranteed savings on every order. As a grade A cheapskate, one of my favorite things about Thrive Market is how cheap everything is, but how quality everything is. And I feel like everyone says that, but for instance, at my local grocery store, this waffle mix cost this and Thrive Market had it for this. I'll show you everything that I got for less than $100. Thrive also carries bath and beauty products, personal care items, eco-friendly cleaning supplies, pet products, and more. So there are two different memberships you can do. You can do a one month membership that is $12. 12 month membership, it is $59.95. And the math on that is about $5 a month. You can filter by your specific diet, whether that be gluten-free, vegan, keto. It's super easy to pick that in the drop down menu and find exactly what you want. Personally, I truly, truly loathe going to the grocery store. Being able to pick everything I want from Thrive Market and having it delivered a couple days later is really, really convenient. So yes, if you did want to check them out, you can either head to the link in my description or just go to thrivemarket.com slash Rachel Maxi, where you can join and get 30% off of your first order and get a free gift up to $60 in value. Thank you so much Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, let's get started on making my new chivalrous companion. If I know next to nothing about wool felting, which just so happens to be my truth, I need to make his little skeleton. And so I have this armature wire. I'm not sure if this is too, too thick. Hopefully it does the job, which is in fact what she said. I feel like there should be a graph of the passage of time versus the annoyance of that's what she said jokes. 
Because I'm telling you, I've pulled out some really stellar ones lately and I've only gotten frustrated sighs when there should be boisterous laughter and I'm mad about it. Okay, so. I'm wondering if I should put wire in his tail so that his tail can move too. I don't have the best track record with not hitting the wire with the needles. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> Let's make this skeleton. Start with his little head. Ouch. Easy. So he's a little bigger than my illustration here. Kind of do this. Eh, it's relatively close. Can also like arch him a little. Boy! Art. I do think I want his tail to be poseable. Dost thou have pliers? Hmm. So it's like a little kickstand so that his tail can support him when he's standing up. Next! Ambiance. It turns out my supplies did not come in until much later. And so here we are. We're going to make some little fingers and some little toes. Some Sculpey clay. Pulling up some reference images of mouse hands, including this beautiful piece of photography that I found earlier. <laughs> oh, don't know what's going on in this, but I love it. Little tiny fingers. Oh! No, 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 not lighting my house on fire today. The teeniest thumb you've ever seen. looking pretty cute. <laughs> Since this is his little right hand and I want that one to be the one carrying the sword so that I can put the sword in there. Big matey claws. This looks pretty silly but <laughs> he's not gonna be this skinny. He's gonna have like a lot of girth. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So after all that, I did decide the hands were a little bit too big. So I re-sculpted and made them a little smaller and I like them much more this way. Are you ready to make my new best friend? <laughs> I am borrowing Nick's camera because I had an incident last night where I basically smashed my lens on the ground. And I don't really want to talk about it. If there's any malfunctions, that's why we're all just doing our best here, okay? All right. My little friend here. And now it is time to bulk him up. I have a bunch of new needles, including this bad boy, which should probably be in a medieval torture museum because, um, <laughs> excuse me? brown and grays, and then another pack, grays and such. <laughs> I'm gonna open a bar just for old ladies and that's what it's gonna be called. So I think I'm gonna use this one and this one for his base colors. Probably mixing in some browns and some whites. If you think I have any idea what I'm doing, apologize, you have been disillusioned. I've only done this once before. <sighs> I'm thinking I'll probably wrap his body in black first, I guess. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I'm also a little nervous about this because there's a, a lot of wire here and especially in the head, I'm not positive how I'm gonna make the cute little head without stabbing the skeleton underneath. And I'm also a little nervous about how to transition from the felt to the clay. I might do the head separately, attach it to this, slide the wire inside. I don't know, okay, listen. <laughs> Cute. Thinking I might do the tail flat, roll it up like a little taquito. You feel me? 
Once all that is done, we also have to make all the armor. We have quite a full schedule. Instead of just being overwhelmed and putting it off, we're gonna get to work. Wrapping this baby up like a newborn babe. Shh, easy there. We're just gonna stab and seal before I put gloves on because I don't know if you have ever stabbed yourself with one of these barbed needles, but wrap my fingers like a little willy. <laughs> looks so cursed. This looks like something you would find in Sid's closet. Okay, so I'm taking this as another layer. Yeah! <laughs> okay, 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 it's fine. Everything's fine. His arms are a little bit more stubby than I intended, so we're gonna make these a little skinnier so it doesn't look like he's wearing a chunky knit, much like his mother. <laughs> so funny. I wanna know about these strangers like me. Are you ever just minding your own damn business when Phil Collins has the audacity? I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Just in general, <laughs> he has the audacity. Grab his little legs. Sort of looking like Ratatouille right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, he's starting to look pretty cute. I'm pretty sure from now until the end of this project, I'm just gonna have a smile plastered on my face because it's so cute. I need a belly. This very much gives me nostalgia in a way. <laughs> I don't know exactly what they're called, but you know those very specific Christmas decorations? They have a whole Christmas carolers line where their faces are really disturbing. Hold on. As a complete sidebar, let's deep dive. Bendable, question mark? Bendable figures, okay. Hmm, no, it wasn't these. Fabric? These motherfuckers. How do I find your kin? Google Lens, baby, come on. Ew, so gross. <laughs> Annalie, Christmas. Mouse! <gasps> these! <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Can you hear the critter that lives in the wall? Good sir! I could not reach you about your car's extended warranty. Oh good. You can even get one that's Americanized. <laughs> My mom used to put one of these out. Mysteriously, when she went to put the Christmas ornaments away, it would be missing. <laughs> and definitely not with my toy stash. And with that, thank you for joining me on this deep dive. Let's get back to work. If we go this whole project without me stabbing myself, I will be very impressed. Okay, I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of this so it's not so gray. Mmm. I did add some more bulk with this method, but I didn't really like how the swirls turned out, so I decided to just cover the whole thing in this brown color. Generally, this project was a lot of trying and failing, and so for the tail, I decided to mix some pink and brown and just lay it flat and make it really, really compact so that way I could roll it onto the wire. This sort of worked, but it was really, really difficult, and I tried like twisting and wrapping it and just, you know, stabbing it so that it would stay placed, but I just, I didn't really like how the pink looked. So naturally, much like the body, I ended up just wrapping it almost all in brown, but gave it a little gray tip with some fuzzy sticking out because I thought it was cute. Here is baby. Ta-da! He is very chonkous and I love him. I could probably spend more time with the transition between the clay and the wool, but also I kind of like that it looks like he's just wearing a big old snowsuit. Freaking adorable. I am going to do the head. I'm going to start by just making a big circle. I'm afraid I'm going to perform accidental acupuncture on myself, but it's great. Start wrapping in this. 
come on over, baby. Eyes will go here. And then we gotta make a little snoot. So long, pal, I'll see you again. We're gonna add his little cheeks. It's look an awful lot like a bunny right now, but <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Let's do the ears. Maybe that'll look a little bit more mouse like. A flat shape that we can then roll. So that'll be the outside and then on the inside, we have the different colors here. Getting crafty here. <laughs> Fold these over. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna attach these ears. exaggerating when I say I would die for him. <laughs> He's so cute. <sighs> right, back to business. Clothes, a little bit of chain mail. And to do this, I think I'm going to use a fabric that I have that looks like chain mail, which if you've seen my Zendaya Joan of Arc dress video, it's from that. Cut off just a little bit of the bottom of that. No one will know. How will they know? Let's make him a little Frodo Baggins mithril vest. So let's do that. <laughs> so it is here. There she blows. Take the bottom of that. Getting a general size idea here. Fold it over. So a little t-shirt shape. Let's make some mouse armor. I might use this for the details, but I'm going to use this EVA foam that has a little bit more thickness to it. First things first is the chest plate. I'm going to sketch out what I'm thinking. Probably something just simple. And then probably same thing for his back piece. Oh, yes. Some may ask why I'm doing this, but my question is why haven't I done it sooner? These scissors suck absolute Jolly Ranchers. I will need to go in and smooth up these edges, obviously, but it's fine for now. Okay, so we have the front, the back, the shoulder pieces. Since I need them to bubble out a bit, this is kind of a tricky part. Oval shape, same on both sides, and glue it so it looks more like a pauldron. Just kidding, I'm gonna make them a little circular, but you know what? Layer these, maybe? Puts that on the back burner. Now, since this is rounded, I'm going to cut a V out of the middle. A rounded shape. Mouse armor. I think I found my new calling. Who knew? Thigh guards, front and back. Possibly upper pauldrons and then lower came down to forming these with glue. I started using a glue gun and then realized that I would have to hold it like this for about an eternity and so I got too impatient and I switched to contact cement. This allowed me to just wait a little bit till it got tacky and then I could just push the sides together. And then to give it the old razzle dazzle I cut little strips out of that craft foam, applied the glue to both the armor and the craft foam, and then bobbed your uncle. Then to seal this foam and make it easier to paint, it was time for a little Plasti Dip bath. Okay. 
Okay, now that the armor is drying, we can go back into sculpting his sword and his little eyeballs. Originally, I was thinking I would make the hilt out of clay, the blade out of something else, but honestly, I don't really know what I would make the blade out of. I'm just gonna sculpt the whole thing in clay. Bada bing, bada boom. Tiny little eyeballs. Shouldn't be too difficult. Some balls, a tail that I can then squish down into the wool. Slightly disturbing. It's like that logo that scarred me as a child before the Tony Hawk games. Oh, look at that, symmetrical. Like little mushrooms. The sword. Sure. <laughs> Sword is done. So these can go into the oven and then finally putting things together and painting. <laughs> Alas, my favorite part of any project. I'm taking this silver paint, it's fine. I usually like to use this mirror paint that I get online, but I don't have any, so this will do. Just painting over that armor, it's pretty easy because I put the Plasti Dip on. Without any weathering, it is very Mandalorian-esque. So I did end up mixing a little bit of black into that silver paint and just adding a little bit of depth and a little bit of weathering. And then it was time to paint his little feet and hands. So I mixed up a sort of gray pink for the base and then for the tips, I just did a really cute little pink. I think this really helped make it look realistic and not just one solid color. Then time to assemble his armor, so I just globbed some hot glue on there and stuck on the pieces accordingly. I also stuck his eyeballs in and worked some eyelids around them because they were alarmingly bulgy. And just like that, he's off to fight the forces of tyranny and make mommy proud. People let me tell you about my best friend. <laughs> my little knight, and I love him so much. I cannot compute how much I love him. Let me tell you, if you are a person who doesn't think you have that parental instinct, start making yourself a little animal knight because I regret nothing. Cannot wait to put him on my shelf and look at him every time I come in here. I just, I love him. <laughs> Since the eyeballs were the last thing that I did, I was a little nervous about them, but I am so happy with how realistic they look. For just being little balls of clay, I'm very, very happy with them. I should probably find a way to secure them and glue them inside there because if I were to rip that out right now, it would pop on right out. And so because of that, they're a little bulgy. I have to keep like pushing them in there. I love the way his face came out, putting the nose on there, kind of making the mouth a little bit more pink. Really, really sealed the deal for his little face. I just think he's so freaking cute. I'm really pleased with the armor. I love making armor, <laughs> whether it be mouse scale or human scale, further cementing the fact that I need an entire fellowship. <laughs> I'm always willing to admit when something is really difficult and I found this process really not that bad. It's really quite easy to 
bulk up, take away, create more dense areas and therefore more compact and skinny. And because it is wool, it's so easy to make them look cute and furry. I highly recommend it. It's so, so fun. I don't have a name for him. If you all would like to help me with that, please send your name contributions. I'm also loving throughout this whole process how many people have been messaging me saying that it reminds them of either Reaper Sheep from Narnia or Redwall, which I did not even know was a thing. And let me tell you, that went straight to the top of my read list. Boop. Would you all like to boop the snoot? Boop it. Thank you. I don't really have much else to say other than I just, you know, it was a nice cozy fun project. I hope that you guys had fun. Next week is an off week and just a reminder, my Patreon does launch on February 1st. So if you're interested in that, check that on out. I don't know. Once again, thank you so much Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check them out and save 30% off of your first order, you can head to the link in my description or just go right to thrivemarket.com slash Rachel Maxi. I love you guys, whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every other Friday? I don't... <sighs> I'm gonna have to work on that. And we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! I tend to lose all inhibitions. <laughs>